Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back. I am being a little bit quiet because there are some people down here at the stream that are trying to do some photography, so I don't really want to make a whole bunch of noise, but I did want to welcome you. This is the third installment of my little beach trail uh, trilogy video, whatever. There's three videos. If you haven't seen the first two, I'd invite you to go back and take a look. You don't have to do it now if you don't want to, but I'll leave some uh, links after this to the to the, the, the playlist that'll have all three if you want to check out the first two. Um, what we are doing uh, is going to the beach. Um, these whole last two videos have been about me trying to get to the beach, but as you can see in all of this stuff around us, um, it's beautiful in here, and there's so much to shoot at that I've been stopped by each attempt. Um, so let's take a look and see what we get, okay? Thanks a lot for coming along. So what's got me going this time? This is a mushroom or a lichen or something. It's a fungi of some sort, I'm sure. Um, but it's got some beautiful colors in it, uh, some beautiful browns, and so... I just want to do some handheld shots. All I'm going to do is, at this point is I'm going to find places where there's a lot of light on the top and less light down here. That way we can get this nice fall off of light that obviously coming down from up here, coming down on the top, there's not much getting in down here in the bottom. So what I'm looking for is I'm looking for nice, nice shapes, nice textures, anything that I can get that's going to make it look nice. For the next five minutes or so, I'm just going to take snaps of this and see if I can, you know, get maybe 25 or 30. That way, when I get home, I can go through the best ones and at least find one that I really, really super like. So that will be our first shot. So if I did that and it came out, here it is. I hope you like it. Let's hope that worked. Normally that does. It, you know, it, uh, the whole time I was shooting those things, I was thinking, man, I need a, a, ma a macro lens. If you're not familiar with, a mac with what a macro lens is, it's, it's just a, a lens that allows you to focus closer. And it's good for, you know, close-up shots of flowers and everything you can imagine. So um, it might've been nice to have uh, a macro for that, but it's okay. Hopefully something came out, but we're on our way. Uh, it was supposed to be clearing up, but as you can see, it's, it's still very overcast. Uh, sunsets at 5.30. 4.30 is when I kind of want to be on the beach. I've, I haven't been on this beach in a while, so I kind of want to scout. All right, let's go. We're gonna try to figure out what else we can find down here, okay? Come on. Okay, everybody, I just came up on this. And what has me interested here, and this isn't the best angle that we've got on it, but as you can see, there's a stump right here, and then there's this tree that's coming down here, but then there's another tree right here. And as you can see, they're pretty much parallel to each other. So I've got this repeating pattern of fallen trees. So I'm gonna try to get something with that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm taking my polarizer off because if I'm gonna handhold this, there's no way I can have a polarizer on uh, because my uh, it'll be too dark and my shutter speed will have to be too slow. Um, I'm not even sure if this is even gonna work, but uh, we'll see what happens here. This is messy, kind of. But I just, like I said, I just love this repeating pattern here. So I'm gonna start it about right there, okay? So one black frame to start. 
one. All right, that should do it. So, here we go. I'm just gonna zoom in here on the screen and make sure that we got things in focus, and we do. We do. Plus, uh, what am I at? I'm at 2.8, so um, the, the depth of field is gonna be really, really shallow. But it should be okay, though, I think. We'll see. We'll see. It may not be, but if it isn't, it isn't. If it doesn't work, well, it doesn't work. We tried. And if it comes out, here it is. I hope you like it. Well, 2.8, yeah, that, that was too shallow. And it is messy. But it's not until I started to crop in that I started to see the possibilities. This image is not perfect. You can see that the stump on the left is not quite sharp, while the tree is. That is the shallow depth of field getting me there. Well, still a, a beautiful image and something I will return to get again. Next time, I'll spend a bit more time and make it right. Well, finally, after two attempts, we finally make it to the beach. But you know, it occurs to me that I've been promising a beach, and though this is technically a beach, it may not have been exactly what you were thinking of. My, my glasses are fogging up. This is kind of dumb. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this is not the beach that maybe you were thinking of. Maybe you were thinking of regular beach, big waves on the ocean. I don't live on the ocean, but what I do live on is the Puget Sound. So this is, all of this in here is considered the Puget Sound. This might be a cove or it might be a, a, an inlet or, or whatever, but this is all considered the Puget Sound. So when, when I talk about a beach, at least here locally, this is the kind of beach I'm talking about, but... You know, we got all sorts of great stuff happening here. The light looks pretty good. Um, it looks like I've got, it, it's actually starting to clear up a little bit. So the color's gonna happen pretty soon. Um, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and get set up here, try to find some sort of composition, and then I'll come back to you and we'll talk about it. And hopefully I can get it here when the, when the light gets right. Okay, so uh, hang on. I'm gonna do a focus stack of this image. I'm trying to get this foreground nice and light and clear so that the, it, you know, it can look nice. I've raised up the exposure to expose for the log. I've done my focus stack of the log. After I did the full focus stack with a, a higher uh, exposure so I could get that nice and clear and bright so that you can see the log logs, plural, uh, but after I did the focus stack, now I've gone back and I have uh, focused on the background. I've left the f-stop at 7.1, but I have raised the shutter speed, which has brought the exposure down so that I can go ahead and get the sky. So I'm kind of looking at some color here. And yes, of course, we have kids and dogs. Just when I'm trying to get the sunset. Yay, kids and dogs. Okay, to be fair, I don't mind dogs, except when they chase balls into the water and mess up my glassy water because I have no wind. And well, kids, eh, I got a couple of those, so they're okay. And well, this image, meh, not really. I'm not crazy about it. But it has shown me that I do want to come back and try it again, so that's what I'll do. As you can see, um, the light has faded a little bit. I got a family over here that's trying to enjoy themselves, so I'm not going to say too much more. We had sunset back here, which means sunrise is over that way. This might be a good spot for sunrise, you know. 
everybody's place. Everybody gets to come here and, and enjoy themselves. And uh, I feel like I'm in the way or I'm, you know, so I'm not, but feel like it. All right. I'm going to pack up and I'm going to get out of here. If you've enjoyed this, uh, please give us a like. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, welcome to all the new subscribers we've been getting. Um, we're a small bunch, but we're mighty. So I appreciate all of the comments, all of the subscriptions. If you want to further support the channel, you can buy me a cup of coffee. The link is below. But other than that, I hope... Uh, this all comes out, and I hope uh, that this has been uh, a good way to end this. Uh, I'll go home and I'll take a look. If this shot didn't work out, I, I don't know if I might not come back down, try to get it again. That's the good thing about photography, so we can always come back, all right? Thanks again for coming along. I hope to see you next time. Take care.